So these are my awesome illustrious books that I put on Amazon KD KDP, and then I turn them into audio books. Now, here's proof that you can start your own royalty share business and make a lot more money. When you come down to this part, as you upload your audio book, I ran into this part that says royalty share. If you guys don't know how important royalties are, TV shows, when they get replayed on videos, like the people from Happy Days, <laughs> all the way back when it was recorded, are still getting played. Martin Lawrence is still getting paid for the for the martin uh show uh, uh will smith is still getting paid from the fresh prince show after all of these years anytime it plays they get a cut anytime an artist uh song plays i like it, but and i cannot he's still getting paid jason uh, uh weaver is still getting paid for singing for the part of simba on the lion king anytime it plays on tv so now <clears throat> now that you know how important royalties are guys when the person uploads their book such as the way that i'm doing it right they can pay they can choose to pay uh for percent or, or they can choose to uh, uh you know narrate their own book or they can have somebody else narrate the book if they choose to have someone else narrate the book they can uh they can choose royalty share it says your producer receives payment in the form of an equal share of the proceeds from the sales of the finished audio book 20 percent of retail sales to you and 20 percent of the uh, to the producer that's how the royalties will go then it has down here it says uh, uh, royalty share plus pay your producer a one time fee and an equal share of the proceeds from sales of the finished audio book. 20 percent to the resale and 20 percent to the book. So these are the options that you'll be able to uh, choose if you are going to use a narrator. Why? Because it's very difficult to get your audio book approved if you recorded it from home. So there are people that have studio setups that will do it for you if you want this to go by faster. But now, <clears throat> how do you make money? Uh, uh, for as as a business, right? So let's get the full definition of it. royalty shares refer to a contractual right to receive a, specific, a specified portion of royalties, fees, and other income streams embodied in the interest that relate to royalty rights for a specific music asset or compilation of music assets. And this, in this occasion, we're talking about audio books themselves. You want to do this in mass scale, and I'm going to show you exactly how. So you're going to do this two ways, okay? And I'm going to show you where to sign up to. <clears throat> so one of the ways. If you come over here to Fiverr.com, you want to position yourself differently. Look at these as product chefs as if you're going in the store. And then you have to wonder why a person would choose you. What can you do to make a person choose you? So as you can see, all these people are charging flat rates to be ghost writers for the ebook. Yes, you can be the ghost writer for somebody. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that without using your own time and without using your own, uh, um, what do you call it? efforts. Okay. And no, we're not talking about chat GPT at all. Okay. So what you would do to stand out on this shelf, if you decided to use Fiverr to promote your ghostwriting services is you would charge lower than everybody else. Why? Is it because your services are less quality? No, you're still going to do an awesome job, but because you want a hybrid payment. What do I mean? Well, we fly back over here. You want royalties. And if you don't know how important royalties are, go watch Shark Tank and hear uh, Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary talk about royalties all the time because you get your money back. Well, you, you guys don't have to invest, but the money comes back like more often, you know, anytime a sales comes in and like way after your investment. So you don't want to just like have the one time fee and all of that extra stuff. You want want to get paid all the time, right? So if you put in here, uh, you know, I'll only charge uh, 40 bucks to ghostwrite your ebook, you know what I'm saying, if I get a percentage, right? Like, so you do a low percentage, you know, low royalties, like a 9% royalties or a 6% royalties, plus the 60 bucks that you put in here right here. Most people that are just desperate to get it done, look, somebody paid this guy a thousand bucks to ghostwrite his, e, uh, their ebooks. You see what I'm saying? He got 12 orders right here, right? So you can charge, oh, at 400 bucks and plus a 9% royalty or 6% or 3% royalty. So now anytime the, uh, the these people that you ghostwrite for get uh, sales or whatever. Uh, and if it's on audio, Audible, the good thing about it being on Audible, guys, is anytime somebody listens to the book, like I got books that I listen to twice a week, like the same books over and over and over because I'm programming wisdom, right? So like anytime people uh, replay the book, you're getting paid a percentage from, you know, the royalty spans. Okay. You guys understand. So you want to create a hybrid or you could just go at full fledged royalty and say, yo, I want 30% or 20% of the royalties that come from the auto audio book. And you can keep, you know, a hundred percent of what comes from the paperback. Trust me. They're going to say, okay, whatever. Cause they don't have to write it now. And I'm going to show you guys about that. Now, let me show you that nobody is doing what I'm talking about right now. Okay. Narrate, narrator for audio book. All right. You don't see it anywhere. Nobody on here is talking about being a professional narrator 
uh, ch charging a hybrid. Like, okay, this one is all the way down to ten dollars. Yeah, let's click on it and see if it's ten dollars because he wants a percentage. Okay, you got one in order. Let's scroll down. Ten dollar gig. Blah blah blah. Recorded audio is received. I do not use AI. He had to put on put that on there because a lot of people are using AI. So don't don't use AI, guys. Right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, so as you can see, he doesn't say in here anywhere for a percentage. Now everybody's not going to want to give you a percentage, but if you have an option, so like yo, either pay me high or give me a percentage most people say well shoot i you know i'll give you a percentage you know what i'm saying like most people don't want to pay that up for money because they're not for sure that their book uh is not gonna is, is gonna pop off they're not sure yet right so if you put a hybrid on here like yo uh give me you know like this right here well obviously it's gonna go up based off of the the number of words in the book so we got we'll put forty thousand words okay so for forty thousand words it'll be a thousand bucks so he ain't that cheap see okay so it'd be like yo for forty thousand words i'll do it for 300 if you give me three percent of your royalty shares boom now you have to think a lot of these people might have followings they might be influencers and, and some of them might even be celebrities so if if they're selling their book, like you get to piggyback off of their influence. You don't even have to do the sales yourself or help without help out with any of the promotion if you don't want to, right? But this is their business and you're getting a share of it. It's kind of like you bought into a business without using money. So this is another way that I teach this, guys. So guess what? You can actually influence that. Now, um, how would you sign up as a narrator? You just go to, we'll come back, go to ACH.com. Hold on. Just look, ACH for creators, find titles for open auditions. Click on studios and narrators. Welcome. And then you scroll down here to where it says sign up. Now I'm having issues going to this page. I don't know if it's because of my VPN. Y'all know I'm in a different country and stuff, but this page won't open for me. I'm already signed up and everything like that. So you guys will sign up like that. Boom. All right. So <clears throat> once you're signed up, as you can see, when people um, uh, are trying to upload their audio book, you know what I'm saying? If they don't already have the audio for it and they chose, you know what? Instead of me going to pay somebody thousands of dollars, because it can it can cost people up to three thousand dollars to get their book, uh, uh, you know, professionally narrated, depending on like how long the book is. So most people will just choose, yo, hook me up with a producer and then they'll choose one of these three ways uh, of, of like sharing. It's pay your producer one time fee for the production and collect full royalty. So this is if you want to keep all your royalties and you just want to pay them a one time fee. You understand? Like, <laughs> okay, you want to be stingy. You'll choose that one or you can choose these down here. You understand? So look, like it's people that, that are just doing nothing but narrating books and making tens of thousands of dollars per month, guys. So now let me show you uh, like exactly what you will go about doing if you want to force this. Like, and you want to really scale this up and build a real good business, even if you're not using Audible to do it. Like you can sell the books, help them sell the books directly from their uh, websites, like people and stuff. So click, check this out. We're going to go to Instagram. All right. All right. So uh, let me see how many followers you got. First, we want to make sure they don't have a book already. I mean, even if they have a book, that's okay. Uh, all right. Let's see their engagement. Okay. She gets good engagement on her stuff. That's good. That's good. That's good. And she's a realtor. So you want to go after influencers or people that have uh, a life that other people would covet, you know, a life that other people would want to live. As you can see, she travels a lot. You know what I'm saying? She's very fashionable and everything like that. So you can find people like this, you know, influential and everything. Uh, I would recommend that you don't go. You can. You can shoot for the moon. You know, you can shoot and try to be in the DMs of somebody that has like a million followers or something. If their audience is huge, you know what I'm saying? And they get crazy engaged because the engagement is what matters and you can literally make thousands of dollars within a weekend's time doing this okay so what you want to do guys is you want to reach out to these people make sure the people are busy you can tell she lives a busy life right and what you're going to say to them is you want to uh can i pay you you're not going to actually pay anything you just want to get their attention yo i notice you live a great life i see you out doing this and you're a realtor a lot of people would want to learn how to do what you do and accomplish some of the things you've accomplished uh, when can i write your book for you and your documentary. They're going to like, huh? Write my book and my documentary. Yes. I just need 30 minutes with you. Not in person, guys. If you're watching this, I'm not talking about in person. <laughs> I just need 30 minutes with you over Zoom or something like that uh, to interview you. I'm going to interview you. That interview is going to become a book and a documentary. And I'm going to show you how to monetize that. And it's not going to take any extra time from you because I know you're busy. Busy is not going to take any extra effort from you because I know you're not well versed in doing what I'm talking about doing right now. And you're not going to have to spend any money on it. They're going to be like, huh? 
What? So we're going to create a, a book, a community and a documentary from this. Right. So now what's going to happen is once we created this, instead of this being a link right here, what is this going to real quick? Let's check this out. OK, come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Follow your dream. Follow your dream home. Buy your rent or some crap like that. Right. She's not going. She's not really getting as many leads as she wants to uh, for people trying to buy a house when they go to this link. Most of the people that are following her. I mean, look at her content. You know, the most the most stuff that gets the views. Look at this. Only 24. Like the stuff that gets the views are her. People like her. They don't care about like the house and stuff. Most of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. The views go up when it's talking about her. They go down when it's talking about just the house. But people would like to live this sort of lifestyle. So if I could document that in a inter in an interview, and then guess what we're gonna do? We're going to take the audio from the interview. We're going to transcribe that audio. That then becomes the book. Right. That then becomes the book. And then you can take certain clips of that interview and you can add images, tell her to send you, uh, you know, photos and stuff from when she was a child in high school and then all of this extra stuff. And you can send it to Fiverr. All right. Uh, documentary. I will do documentary video editing. All right. I will do documentary, true crime editing, whatever. I will edit professional documentary video. Boom. So now guess what? She uploads that documentary to her YouTube channel and you made the deal with her that you're going to get AdSense percentages. You made the deal with her that you're going to get royalty shares from the audio book and from the Kindle book. And guess what? You're piggybacking off of the audience that she already has. She has 12, uh, 12.6 thousand followers and they already engaged with her stuff. Now, as you created these new assets for her, she's actually going to grow her audience, but she's doing it. She's going to promote all this stuff because it's about her. It's her book. You're not telling her to promote your book. It's her book. It's her documentary. It's going to boost her brand, make her feel good. You know what I'm saying? And look good, right? That's probably going to get her more real estate deals, right? Then maybe she can throw in some little, uh, little, little money for some Facebook ads and we can just run uh, ads from the local community that she sell houses in to her documentary. Who do you think they're going to buy a house from if if they see her documentary? She started looking like a celebrity and is going through their news feeds on social media in the city, right? So guys, you're going to be getting paid off of the documentary. You're going to be getting paid from royalty shares of the audio book and from the Kindle book. When people are reading the Kindle book, people, they get paid every time people read a page, right? On Kindle, right? So, I mean, guys, this is exactly how you can start a royalty business. You understand? And so this is just one person right here. So you make a list of people that you believe you can reach out to or you can use her. Right. So you like, yo, who else? Who do you have in your? Uh, uh, OK, who is she following? Right. Like who, who out of these people do you know that is not a direct competitor? Like meaning they're probably not a realtor in your city or in your area of the city that I can do this with. Right. Ooh. Well, she's following Elena Cardone. That's Grant Cardone's wife now. But let's see who who is following her. OK, so we can find anybody influential. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a fake account. I mean, well, it might be, might not be. But OK, we can see who she knows in her followers list. And after we do a good job for her, we'd be like, yo, why don't you connect me to blank, blank and blank that's following you and let them show them what I did for you or if they haven't already seen it and tell them that I want to do the same damn thing for them. That's how you do it, guys. So now you have three, four, five of these people with following. Some of them got way bigger followings than her. So you use her to be your connected to those people with the bigger followings and you use her results to uh, uh, to lock them in. And boom, and they're not clients, they're partners, your revenue share partners, literally. Okay. Or royalty share partners. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Love you guys.